Hello everyone. So in this video, let's talk about uh, the different relationships we are defining in the SQLize entities. So those entities are like has one, belongs to, has many, belongs to many. Okay. So what I did is I just tried to copy this from the SQLize documentation. I will try to explain it in the just a better way. So we have defined two entities, A and B. Let's call them as a user and post okay this is user and this one is post okay now what we are what i'm saying is user has one post it means that user has one so this is like a one to one relationship between user and post Okay, it's like one user can have only one post. So it will be just a primary key from user will be a foreign key in the post entity. Okay, or you write it like this post belongs to user. What it is saying this. So if you just talk about these two lines, the first line is saying that user will hold the primary key and that primary key will act as a foreign key in the post entity. Or you write in uh, other way around like post dot belongs to user that is also saying that post will have the foreign key for the primary key which is defined in the user so like sometimes we define this in the user and this we will define in the associate block of the post entity okay so this is like a one to one if you write it in the another way like user dot belongs to post it means what you are saying that user will hold a foreign key for the primary key which is defined in the post. So it will be wrong, right? So always take care of this. Belongs to has one means this is like primary key is going to the right side. Belongs to means the primary key is coming from the right to left and post is holding the foreign key. Okay, so this is a one to one. Has many is a simple example where like user can have a multiple post. Okay. So a dot has many similarly user dot has many post correct so this is what you have defined in the user dot has many post means means user id will act as a foreign key in the post now while writing this same in post you will just say user dot post belongs to user this is simple now this is a mix i mean these are used as in the combination so has many means user will the user's primary key will act as a foreign key in the many post and what it is saying this post will hold a foreign key for many records which are defined in the user so there will be many post holding the foreign key pointing to the primary key of a user okay this is a one to many relationship and from post to user it is a one to many many to one Okay, many posts will belong to a one user. One user is having many posts. Then simply then another one is a dot belongs to many. So this we write to have a many to many relationship through a third third entity, which will have the IDs of a first and second entities. Okay. Now coming to this, uh, this is a dot has one a dot belongs to. These are kind of pointing a uh, kind of one to one relationship point of like a belongs to b it is simply saying that uh, a will hold the foreign key from the primary key uh, entity b a dot has many means a's primary key will be in the for as a foreign key in the b entity many entities so it's like a one to many a dot belongs to b through c it means a will have many to many relationship with the b and there is a c is an intermediate entity we are having okay so to create one to one relationship has one and belongs to is a right choice or if you wanted to have a one to many relationship then you can say has many if you wanted to define a one a one to many relationship then we can use has many relationship and belongs to right this pair is something which we are going to use many times like user post and post and text will have belongs to many because there is a many to many relationship between the post and the tags okay to create many to many relationship you can use the belongs to many which is just going to create a 
a third table having the IDs, entity IDs of first and second table. Okay, so we talked about these things and these are the only things which we are going to define in the associate block of our entities. Okay, you can see user dot has many and we are using the has many with belongs to as a pair. Okay, so in the next video, uh, we will define all the other entities also. I will just create them and then we will start running the migration because we are already connected to the database using docker compose that is what I we can run this so we have database up and running our node.js services are running okay so what we will do is now we will write entities and to run the migration what I did is I just copied these commands sqlize migrate so what it use it use sqlize db migrate command and it will use the the current environment environment is development so from config.js it will see okay for development i have these configurations i have to run migration against this database instance and these are the tables i have to migrate post user index okay so for migration you have to create a migration these are just only for when you do the db sync uh, through the sqlize then it will try to create them for migrations we will create a dummy migrations like uh, the create entity migration we will create here and we will run that okay thanks everyone